Welcome, everybody, to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. Along with Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson, this is Brian Anderson. And we've got our reporter, Ali LaForce. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. Tip-off goes to the Lakers. So let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls starting lineup. And it's Longley in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's Bryant, tipped, and he gets it back. Here's O'Neal, that one's good. And the assist to Bryant. As pretty much any coach, that's how he'd like to start the game. The floater, in deep, Jordan, Jordan drops it in. The floater is so Scotty tough Pippen. to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. Here's Fisher, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. First personal foul, first team foul. At the line for your Lakers, Derek Fisher. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. 1-10 left in the first quarter. Jordan, the pass to Pippen. Here's Longley. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. Nice contest. A high level of energy. That's how you play defense. Offensive board. O'Neal. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Here's Bryant following the bucket by the Bulls. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. Twenty-nine seconds left in the first. Here's Pippen. He's covered by Fox. And the Lakers going with a whole new group out there. First team foul. Substitution on the court. Lakers on D. Four-point game. The fader. The offensive rebound. Shots good by Kukoc. That's a blue-collar bucket right there. Grown man basket. Put in the work. Got a second chance to score. Here's George with two seconds left. And he takes it up and lays it in. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Lakers ahead. Up by four. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. Just tuning in. Second quarter action is where we are. Guys, what stands out to you from the Lakers in this one? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge too. On the court for the Bulls. And it's Kerr in at the one. Here's Kukoc. On target from range. Kukoc has got five points. I know what they say. Defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. Here's Lou. Pass to Shaw. Clock at six. There's the three. Rebound by the Bulls. There's a minute 17 left to play in the second quarter. From nine feet out, and there's the rejection. And he recovers it, controls the rebound and the putback. Rodman's got his first points in this one. Big time effort on the glass. And when you have a touch that soft, those tip-ins are easier to make. He didn't have his feet planted. Jordan's checked in for Chicago. 
Substitution on the court. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Stolen! And now the Bulls in transition. Second chance effort. And it's good on the lay-in. As usual, terrific effort from him. Unwilling to let the possession go to waste. Here's Shaw. He's scoreless. Oh, they can't stop the run with that one. To the paint. Here's Kukoc. Uses the glass to finish the layup. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. From the high post. Kept alive. Nice shot by Batson. In the NBA, you let anyone shoot inside five feet, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. To the middle. And slam dunk by Jordan. Assist from Woo! <laughs> I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. That's the defense paid. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. It's the Bulls. They're up by five. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we hope you enjoyed the competitive first half of action. Ernie Johnson here welcoming you back to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. That guy right there is Shaquille O'Neal. And that guy right there is Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a closely contested first quarter for Chicago. And they kept it close, trailing by, at the most, four points. They're playing for each other right now. Selfless basketball translating into a five-point lead now after trailing initially. And Kenny, what did you think about what you saw from Chicago? Well, I like what I'm seeing on the offensive end. They're keeping things simple, getting to their spots, and executing. Nothing fancy. Kind of like Shaq Sue. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? Hard to feel happy when your opponent's shooting over 60%. You're going to have to make things harder for those guys defensively. Force them out of their comfort zone. Contest every shot. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Chicago leading. They've got Kobe Bryant. And it's Grant in at the four slot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Pippen, no good. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how dangerous he can be, and they guarded him perfectly. And the bucket is good. A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. Here's Harper. Yet to see a basket. Can't hit that one. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. And the shot goes down. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. 107 left in the third quarter. Bulls foul. Dennis Rodman. And the Lakers making a change here. Harper's checked in. Substitution for your Lakers. Ron Harper. One minute left in the third. Pass to Fisher. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Such confidence as a passer. He hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. Jordan. And it goes. As the official calls the foul. Count it. And he'll shoot one more at the line. At the line for the Bulls. Michael Jordan. One shot.
The Lakers trail. Pass to Shaw. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Shot clock at six. Misses the one-handed jam. Here's Kukoc. He's covered by Grant. Kukoc, no good. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Coaches love to see ball movement, especially when it gets you that kind of look. Here's Jordan. And again, no good by Chicago. That's the end out of good for the third quarter. It's the Bulls. They lead by four. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. And the Lakers with possession here. Trailing by four. And for Chicago, let's take a look. And it's Pippen in at the three spot. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And then how you like to pick the set the open shot. So when it leads to a foul, okay, even better, we'll take it. Go the other way. Foul. An opportunity now for them to get back on top. Yeah, they've kept it within arm's length. Now they need to make a play. Brian, no good. Brian against Jordan. To the wing on the left. A minute 20 left in the game. And the basket by Pippen. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Brian, no good. Brian's got three of his eight shots to go. Tries to break his ice. Money. What a beautiful shot. Brings it within three. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They're down by three. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter. with his guys to keep their emotions in check saying you're battling right now continue to play smart don't try to be a hero out there play for one another guys let's see what happens thank you for that Ali. and it's good and that one brings them within one it's great to see guys don't back down under pressure he knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver and an intentional foul right there. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. Shooting for Chicago. Michael Jordan. Two shots. So the first one drops. And that'll put him up two. He hits both free throws here. And it's a three-point game. Wow, 
of doing all he can to give them the edge, pulling their lead out to three points. Time called here. The Lakers decide to talk it over. They're trailing by three. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what's your take? If they leave the arc open, take it. But it may be safer to get a quick two and then foul. Yeah, time is the enemy at this point. So I think I'd go for the tie and avoid playing the foul game. Two seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Bryant. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Lakers, Kobe Bryant. Sinks the clutch free throw. Chicago, oh, oh, as big a free throw as you can make. Now they need a stop to send it to OT. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. The loudest and craziest fans get a free t shirt. Let's hear it, fans. seconds left in the game. Here's Harper. This one for three. Oh, had a chance to win it right there. Couldn't get it to fall. Time expires. We're going to overtime. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in a moment. These teams have battled tooth and nail for four quarters. Now we're headed to overtime. This one should be fun. And Chicago has possession. They've got Kobe Bryant. And it's Harper in at the point. To the inside. Stolen by Bryant. Harper passes to Matson To take the lead. Man, where's the effort on the defensive end? You kind of play harder than that. Yeah, these teams have kind of decided to fight this battle but on scoring alone. There's not that much intensity on defense. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. They're down by two. There's 38 seconds left in the first overtime period. Inside, shot from 12. Jordan misses. Uh, okay, well, I like his aggressiveness, but, like, the defense was waiting on him that time. Count it! I'm out, I'm These out. are exactly the kind of shots they want to generate each and every time down the floor. 
And the Bulls call time here. They're down by four. 26 seconds left in the OT period. Here's Harper. Pass to Longley. And here's Jordan, covered by Bryant. Jordan misses. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. First team foul. Checking in for Chicago. Scotty Pippen. Here's Fisher. So it's a narrow victory for the Lakers. Pulling it out for the W. They escape with the W, even though they needed a few extra minutes to pull it off. And both teams gave their all. But when it came down to overtime, it was about who had more determination. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time.